Today's video is my update for the Turn and Burn 2024 Project Pan. This is a Pantastic Ladies group collab panning project. The Turn and Burn Project Pan is a way to use up all of your samples, your minis, your gimme products. The premise of the project is to use up as many of those products as you can by the end of the year. And of course I will be going into 2025 because I had a lot of products. And at the end I will show you how many I started with and how many I have now. It started in January. It goes all the way to the end of December with monthly updates. I have not done a monthly update since May. So this is my June, July, and my August update. I just did not get a chance to record. I did, however, continue to use my products and log them. So I'm only going to go over the products that I have used or that I have usage on. And then at the end, we will go over what I have finished. Editing Leanna here. I'm a little out of practice. I mean, it's been almost three months, so I failed to mention that this project was created by the amazing Jessica Lee, and I will have her link down in the description below, along with the link to the Fantastic Ladies Collab group on Facebook. So let's get started. We're going to start off with this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I have used this a total of three times. It is a really cute sample. It has a little brush on one end. And that is all I have left. I am almost there. It's going to take me forever because I do not use a brow pencil. I use a brow gel. So I did get three uses out of it though, but I need to remember to pull that out and use it. Since I couldn't quite remember exactly where I left off, I kind of lumped all of my uses in together. Normally I will tell you how many I used in the month how many I used before and what the total is. So this is the Buxom Plumping Lip Gloss and it is in the shade White Russian. And I am shocked at how much I enjoy this product, this shade actually, and the sensation that it gives. It is not really burning. It's more like a cooling sensation, but it's really nice. And I have used this a total of 32 times. And I'm going to mark it. I haven't marked it before, but I can actually see where I'm at. That little line is where I'm at. This little line of mine. Next is this Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lip liner and it is in the shade Pillow Talk 2 Medium and I have used this a total of 24 times and that is what the shade looks like. It's a very pretty lip liner. Very creamy and it is something that I can actually wear on its own without the need for a lipstick. And it lasts for quite a long time. I'm very impressed with that product. Next is this adorable little sample of Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk. Look at how cute that is. It's so little. I have used this a total of six times. And that's what that shade looks like. Very creamy. I do like that. It's a pretty shade. It's, I don't know that it's necessarily my shade, but I do like the formula. Next is a sample of Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk 2 Medium. I have used this a total of seven times. 
and I actually really do like this shade. That goes, of course, with the lip liner, but that is a good shade for me. And actually, it looks like what I have on, but it's not what I have on. So what I have on is a dupe for that. And we will get to that here in a little bit. Next is the Ciate London Velvet Skin Cream Blush. It is in the shade Fancy. I have used it a total of 27 times. There is where I'm at currently. It doesn't take much, and it is a very nice blush. I really, really like the shade of this. That is what it looks like. It actually goes very well with the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. It shears out really nice. It is a lovely product. I really like it. Next is this e.l.f. Holy Hydration Eye Cream. I have used this a total of 20 times. This is really, really nice. You can see how liquidy it is. Very, very hydrating under your eyes. I like it so much that I did purchase a full size. Next, I have this First Aid Beauty Eye Duty Niacinamide Brightening Cream. This is really, really nice for under your eyes. It really does brighten and hydrate. I really do like it. I am currently right there. You can barely see the line, but I can bend it and show you where I'm at. I have used this a total of 13 times, and I really do like that. Next is this Giorgio Armani Eyes to Kill. This is a black mascara. I have used it a total of 13 times, and I do enjoy it. I really do like the brush on this. It's very easy to use. It's not too large for my eyes, and it's nice and soft. So it goes through my lashes really well. I do like that. Next, I have this Herb and Eden Body Oil. This is vanilla and cedarwood. It smells fantastic. I've only used it four times. And, I mean, it doesn't take a whole lot. So it doesn't even look like I've used it at all. Very nice product. It smells phenomenal, y'all. The packaging is really hard, so it's it's kind of hard to get it out. I mean, I can shake it out, but I wish the packaging was just a little bit softer, but wonderful oil. Next, I have this Herb and Eden Whipped Body Butter. It is in the scent Jasmine and Vanilla, and I have used this a total of seven times. I love this body butter. It is the best body butter I've ever used as far as texture. I mean, the way that it, it melts and melts into the skin, the way that it smells, it is amazing. I highly, highly recommend this brand. Next is this little sample of Juvia's Place lipstick. This is in the shade Kiwi. I have used this a total of 46 times. That is how much I have left. This is what I have on. And I'm going to put it right beside... I mean, it's a little bit darker than the Charlotte Tilbury, but I think it's fairly close. Or maybe I'm crazy, but I really do like this a lot, a lot. And it's way cheaper than the Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in Apple Lime. And I bought these off of eBay. I'm not sure that this is not a fake because... I mean, it doesn't even have any scent to it. And when I use it, I 
don't know what the hype is about it. Did I tell you I used it 29 times? Look, I've been digging a little hole in it. <laughs> Trying to figure out how far down the bottom is, but yeah. I mean, it's going to last me a long time, but I just, I don't know if that's the real thing. I don't know. Y'all tell me. Do y'all have those little samples? Do they, does the smell go away? What's so great about those? Choiring minds want to know. Next, I have this little sample of the Matrix Total Results Instacure. It is a liquid protein for your hair, and I have used this a total of four times so far. It's still quite full, and I do enjoy it. I need to use it consistently so that I can see, you know, whether it actually helps or not, but I do like it. The Milk Makeup Kush Fiber Brow Gel, and this is in the shade Grind. I have used this. A total of 12 times and I do like it. It is just a little dark for me and I feel like it's starting to dry out a little bit but I do have some more uses in it and I do enjoy it. This is the Nest Seville Orange Perfume Oil and I have used this a total of three times but you cannot, you cannot tell and it these Nest perfumes and perfume oils are fantastic. They smell, oh my gosh, so good. I just need to slather that all over me. I don't know why I didn't use so much of it. Because I used another one of these the other day. And I mean, all day long, I kept, I kept going, what is that? wonderful smell and it was me and I, I had put it on my wrist. Yeah, I'm a little cray cray. Next I have this Nude Sticks all over face bronze color and it is in the shade Bondi Bay. And I do love Nude Sticks products. This and it twists up that's how much I have left. This is just a little warm for me. But I do love their cream-like products. That is very creamy. And it's not too bad once I, you know, blend it out. But it's just a little bit too warm. It took me a hot minute to figure out that I was more of a cool tone girl. Next is another Nude Stick product. This is Gel Color Lip and Cheek Balm, and it is in the shade Posh. And this one does not twist up. It needs to be sharpened. I need to sharpen it, but this is really nice. On your cheeks, it kind of gives you that lit from within glow. But it is very hydrating and very hydrating when you use it on your lips. I really do like it. Notice a theme here. <laughs> Next is the NYX Butter Gloss. And this is in the shade Cinnamon Roll, I believe. Yes. And I have used this a total of 22 times. I have no idea where I'm at. I don't know if the bottle is colored. I can't tell where I'm at. I want it to smell like a cinnamon roll. It does not. And I mean, it's okay. It's, I would not repurchase it, but it's, it's hydrating and, you know, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Next is this little Ofra lip sample. It's long list, long list, 
Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick, and it is in the shade Sanibel. And I have used this a total of eight times. I don't know where I'm at with this one either. That's what that looks like right there. If I remember correctly, these kind of dry down. We'll see. I feel like Ofra's liquid lipstick is a little drying, if I remember correctly. I would not purchase their lip products. Next is this Real Her I Am Beautiful Mascara Length Volume Mascara. It is in the shade Black. And I have used this a total of 14 times. I do like it. It is a nice formula. And I love the brush. It is one of those like silicone rubbery type brushes and it's small so it works very well for my eyes. Next I have the So Susan Skin Spectre Pore Camouflaging Primer. I have used this a total of 12 times. I am down to right there. So I have quite a ways to go. I don't always reach for face primer so that's why it's taking me so long to get through it but I'm working on it. Next is the So Rich Glow Light Highlighter. I have used this a total of 12 times. You can see the disturbance there. Not a lot. It doesn't look chunky on my finger but when I use it with a brush it just seems kind of chunky and flaky maybe I should use my finger with it but it is very pretty very pretty highlighter did I say I've used it 12 times I've used it 12 times then I have this Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand I have used this 25 times, and I'm telling you it's still full, <laughs> I think. Maybe I need to use more. I'm, I'm being too sparing with it, but it is really nice. This shade is a good shade for me. I think I have the e.l.f. Halo Glow, which I think is a little bit too dark for me, but I do love the shade of the sample. Somehow I skipped over the Makeup Forever eyeliner. This is the Aqua Resist Graphic Pen. I have used this a total of four times. I'm wearing it today. I do like it. One of the things that I like about it because it has that felt tip on the pen is sometimes when you use those, especially over top of your eyeshadow, the eyeshadow seems to dry them out. That does not seem to be happening with this one. And it has the little shaker thing in it to help keep it shooken up. <laughs> Is shooken a word? Shooken. And then I have two perfume samples. I have Burberry Her that I have used once. And there's just a tad left in it. So I finished that one. <laughs> and then I have the Skylar. This is Coconut Cove. And I have used this one time. And I still have probably two uses. I don't lose my mind when I'm spraying. Actually, that was almost too much and there's still some in the bottle. For the products that I have used up, I have a Kaali perfume sample. This is Love Fest. It is burning cherry and y'all, I loved it so much that I promptly <laughs> went to Sephora 
and bought a full size because OMG, OMG. I'm almost positive that this is my new scent. I just absolutely loved it. Loved it. Did I tell you I used that three times? The other sample that I used up from Kali is called Utopia. I used this a total of four times and it was it was nice. I liked it. Didn't make me want to run out and buy a full size sample but a full size bottle <laughs> but I did really enjoy it. So far I have really liked all of that brand's fragrances. I finished a Burberry Her sample and I really did enjoy that. It took me three uses to use that. That mm, could possibly end up on a future wish list. Maybe. Maybe. I have an IT superhero mascara in super black and I have the full size of this. I have used this a total of 18 times and it's really starting to feel like it's getting dry. So it doesn't feel like there's a ton left in there. So yeah, I'm going to declutter that one. I finished this Laura Mercier Caviar Stick in I Natural. I finished it. It's gone. It's gone. It's all gone. I am so proud of myself for finishing this little puppy. I cannot tell you. I really did like it. I used it as an eyeshadow base and I used it a total of 29 times. So that little sample lasted quite a long time. It was very nice. I did like it. This Chantecaille Mascara. It is... Longest Lash Mascara in Black. And I don't know how much is left in here. And it still seems to be fine. I have used this total of 45 times. And I'm just kind of over it. <laughs> it's not... It's not the greatest mascara. You know, Chantecaille is a very expensive brand. And I would have expected more out of this and I might have a full size that I I didn't buy it I think it was gifted to me but yeah I'm not impressed and, and I'm just kind of done with it so I figure 45 uses is enough I'm calling it done Dior mascara I have used this a total of 11 times and I am decluttering this as well it doesn't really feel like it's drying out. I don't think that there's a lot left in here, but y'all, do you see this brush? Like, hello? It's huge. Look at that thing. It's huge. Compared to my eye, I, I end up with it all over me. I just, not a fan, so not making me happy. I am decluttering that puppy as well. I finished this Lancome Aura perfume and I used it 28 times. Very nice product. I really did enjoy the scent of this and I don't know what the notes are. I should have looked up to see what the notes are but I did enjoy it. I can't remember whether I put this on my wish list at Sephora or not. Eden Body Works. This is a leave-in conditioner. It's Coconut Shea. Refresh and Renew. It's paraben and sulfate free. And I used this 10 times and I did enjoy it. Um, probably not something that I would repurchase, but it was okay. Glow Recipe. This is the Watermelon Glow PHA and BHA Pore Tight Toner. I used this sample, y'all, 49 times. There was a lot of product in here and it didn't take a whole lot. And I really, really enjoyed this. 
this is definitely on my to purchase list. I just have some other toners that I need to use up first and then I will definitely be buying this. I used this little SK2 Facial Treatment Essence from Patera, which I believe is a Korean brand. This is a skin balancing essence and well, it says made in Japan. I did enjoy this. Not something that I would repurchase, but there were 19 uses in this little teeny bottle. Back to another Herb and Eden product. This is the Lavender and Sage deodorant. It is supposed to be a natural deodorant. And for whatever reason, it... And you can see how much of it I used. I used it eight times. And I tried, y'all, but it breaks me out. She is being decluttered. And the last product that I finished is this little Tarte Hydrating Face Primer. This is Base Tape Hydrating Primer. And I used this a total of 18 times. And I did enjoy it. I'm not real big into face primer, so it's probably not something that I would repurchase because if I were consistently using a primer and needed to repurchase one, I probably would just go with e.l.f. I thought I was done, y'all, but I'm not done. The Herb and Eden Oatmeal and Honey sample of a soap bar, and I used all of that. It's gone. That was a nice, their soaps are really nice. I would not go out of my way to purchase them per se, but I did enjoy it. I used up my last sample of this Tea Tree Lemon Sage Thickening Shampoo. This is, I believe, a Paul Mitchell, yes, it's a Paul Mitchell product and I mean it was fine hate the packaging it is just you can't even squeeze it out and I mean you know it's hard to get it to come out when you can't squeeze the bottle <laughs> yeah I was not a fan of the packaging I don't know if the full size packaging is better but this was horrible and I think I paid like eight dollars for this sample not a fan and now the last product that I have is these clay masks from Sephora. This little sample pack came with three masks and I used all three of those. And those are all of my empties. Let's see the value of what I used up. Okay, so the monetary value of the products that I used up in those three months is $110.21. So far, I have used up a total of 51 products for the year. I have 41 products that I am currently using. So I'm going to insert either a picture or some video of what my sample product basket looked like when I started in January. And now here's what my basket looks like now. So we have pared it down quite a bit. Let's pull some products. And by the way, this Ofra lipstick does not dry down. I don't like it. How many bronzers am I working on? I don't think I'm working on a lot of bronzers. I'm going to pull this Benefit little mini hula bronzer. The packaging is starting to come apart. <laughs> and I have used this. The embossing is almost gone. I am going to pull in another 
soap sample to use from Urban Eden. I'm going to pull in this little NYX HD finishing powder sample. I'm going to pull out this Avant Shea Butter Hyaluronic Vitamin B3 Seawater Sweet Almond Age Nutri Revive Revive <laughs> Deluxe Hyaluronic Acid Vivifying Face and Eye Night Cream. No scent. It's going to be a long video. Y'all still here? Who's still here? Drop me a lip emoji down in the comments if y'all are still here. Because this stuff has no scent. None. I have this little sample of the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. Now, I know when, when I first heard about this, when I first started my journey and was getting into skincare. This was very highly talked about as being an amazing magical miracle product and it's what a hundred dollars a jar and this stuff makes my other skincare products and my makeup sometimes pill it's almost empty like I don't have a whole lot left in there I'm going to pull that and see if I can't get that used up. How about a little baby NARS blush? Is this Orgasm? Yep. Which is shiny. But let's pull that out and work on it. I have this powder. Should I pull another powder? I do have this little Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. Let me pull that one too. Alrighty, there we go. I will be on time next time, so this won't be such a long video. Hopefully you had a shot of tequila or, you know, something to keep you occupied. If you hung out this long, I truly do appreciate you. I would love it if you would show that like button some love. Subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you in my next video. Okay. Love you. Bye.